Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. If you and you, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Kamoy. I just want to say major shout out to each and every one of you. I remember when I first started this channel, I literally had like six subscribers. Two of them were my son. So he actually reminds me that, Mommy, no, you actually had four subscribers because two of those was me and that don't really count. So now I'm almost at the 3,000 mark. So I just want to share and tell you guys I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the encouragement. I also want to remind you guys that I do go live on Fridays here on YouTube at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I do answer questions from the chat. So come on and join us on Fridays. We have a lot of fun. Join the community. We have fun. Also my love my podcast is up and running and ready for you guys to stream. Okay. You will have a new episode uh, this week so you guys can take a look at that because I do know it's the holidays. All right. And then um, also my loves, I want to let you guys know that you can also win a free reading. So check out the information in the description box below. Not to mention holiday special if you're interested in a personal reading slash coaching session with me. I am doing love and career readings for a discounted price of a $50 donation. So you guys can go ahead and find that information in the description box below also, okay? Now, you want to make sure you get your slots, guys, because you know this energy coming into 2020 is going to be on and popping. It's all about being able to focus, being able to have the, the right direction, not putting in your time, your energy, and lower vibrational shit. So definitely schedule your appointments, my love. Um, not to mention, I'm also going to be choosing a contest winner to get a sample of my Shea Butter Body Bomb. So I'm so super excited about that. All right. Um, not to mention, last but not least, these dailies are posted every day at 12.15 Eastern AM Standard Time. Um, I do have to say, like Thanksgiving was, um, two days ago when I did forget to put up yesterday's video by 12.15. So I actually jumped up at like 5.50 in yesterday's video. I'm like, shit, I didn't do the video for the 29th. So I jumped up. And I had to record it like at um, 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning or something like that yesterday. Um, so this one is being pre-recorded and you all know how I do. Uh, we are vibrating on the number 8 today because we're doing the date of November 30th, 2019. Saturday, November 30th, 2019, vibrating on the number 8. Number 8 is all about new beginnings, okay? But before I jump into your wisdom, you do know that I always say intuition and your intuition is available all day, every day. Whether or not you choose to tap into it is a totally different story and that is up to you honey but that does not mean that it's not available okay now I also want to do something different with these dailies I kind of feel like it's important for me to use this platform to help you guys um, to get unstuck and to step yourself outside of the box, okay? With that being said, I really want to make these messages a lot more tailored towards healing and growth, self-growth and self-healing. And one of the main things I want to talk about today is... Um, being able to step up into con uh, self-confidence, okay? So maybe starting next week, um, we'll zone in and talk about maybe one healing topic for that whole entire week and see what that, what that takes us, all right? Because I don't ever want to leave anyone stuck, all right? That's not my goal. That's not my goal. That's not my goal. A lot of you may not know, my loves, that I am a certified Reiki energy healer, um, that I am a life coach. Yes, I paid a lot of money to get these trained. <laughs> these trainings um the life coach training that I took I actually just took that course because I had a conversation with my girlfriend and read something in the book and she didn't like my opinion because I did not have a PhD so I figured if you know to be taken seriously maybe I need to go get a certification so I can actually teach this shit right but anyway that goes to show you why we're dealing with self-confidence today because if I was confident in myself, I would not have taken that course for that reason. I would have took the course because I wanted to, not because I felt inadequate based on someone else's comments about myself, right? But those days are long gone, <laughs> right? Okay, so today we're vibrating on the number eight, my love. And today our topic that we're going to be honing in on from these energy vibrations will be self-confidence. We are going to be honing in on self-confidence today, okay? So today is vibration of number eight, which is all about new beginnings. Intuitive energy is always in the atmosphere. Self-confidence is going to be in the atmosphere today as well as good judgment. Some of you, your money will be on your mind. Yes, your coins will be on your mind. Ideas of how to make money, ideas of how to spend money, ideas of how to manage money it is the holiday season maybe you overspent a little bit too much i'm just saying it's the holiday season y'all okay now inner strength is also going to be on point today as well as authority and the reason why i wrote authority down 
um, in the notes for today when I was doing the research for today's vibration is because it's the holiday season. And sometimes you can get caught up, right? And I want to say either rebelling against authority, right? Or um, giving too much power to, um, giving too much um, uh, uh, power to someone having authority over your own feelings and your own thinking, okay? So I want you to be mindful about who you're giving authority to in your life today, okay? Or you're giving authority based on not enough confidence within yourself or you're giving authority based on being a people pleaser like or the authority that you're allowing in your life and surrendering to does it bring balance and harmony into your life okay so um i'm you know and this goes beyond the authority at work because you can still be at work and have someone in an authoritative position and they still abuse that position so all of that you know, falls into play. And that's why I wrote that down because if you're stepping up in self-confidence today, which is a code word for today, and you're stepping up with that inner strength today, you're not going to have a problem checking the authority in your life. Okay. Do I need to submit and surrender to this authority or do I need to fucking let this motherfucker know about themselves? Don't abuse your authority now, right? Now, sometimes letting someone know about themselves, you don't have to do the fucking and the you know, you don't have to do the fucks. But y'all know how about my fucks, right? Y'all know how you do. If you were new and you do not know what the word fuck means, let me break down what the word fuck means to me, okay? Frequency is the F. Understanding is the U. Calling is the C. And knowing slash knowledge slash gnosis is the K. Are you operating in your frequency? What frequency are you operating or vibrating with, Right? Are you walking with the, the clear understanding that you need to know about the things that you talk about, the things that you think you know, the things about the things that you say? Are you walking in your calling or are you just trying to fuck with minds because you don't know what yours is, right? All this knowledge that you say that you have and this knowing that you says you have, what do you do with that knowledge and that knowing? How are you utilizing that in your life? Or are you just trying to self-project because you don't have much knowledge or much knowing of your own self, okay? So that's what fuck means to me, okay? Frequency, understanding, calling, and knowledge. I'm a wordsmith. Not only do I create words and change words, but I also could fuck words up, Okay. With that being said, my love, we also have um, personal power in the atmosphere today. Once again, that's leading back to your self-confidence. Um, true justice in the atmosphere. So some of you could hear truth coming out or somebody could be telling you the truth, right? Um, and you're going to have to be self-disciplined and know to take the truth because some of that truth may not come with tact today. The way the truth may be delivered today may hurt your feelings. Let's just be honest about that, right? Because we do have a lot of ego energy in the atmosphere today as well as a lot of dominant energy as well as um superiority complex in the atmosphere as well as greed so aka your hazels your gargamels your energy vampires and your narcissists are out today okay so just be mindful about that all right so we're gonna start off by pulling my love one chakra cards because i have not put chakra cards in like forever and you guys know like i used to start off all my readings with these chakra cards so we're going back to the chakra cards and we're going to take a look at C in the collective what chakra we need to pay attention to today. Okay, we got perfection popping out, which is root chakra. And we're just going to keep it. We're going to keep the, the perfection um, chakra card, right? So when this root chakra card, and this is just going to be collectively for all the signs, and then we're going to jump down into what you need to know per each individual sign. But today, the overall energy in the collective that we're paying attention to is root chakra energy. The root chakra energy is what's grounding you, okay? This is all about what grounds you, all right? Why you get out the bed and do the things that you do every day. And if you take a look at this, this says perfection. But if you also take a look at clearly at this card, right? You can see that she's outwardly shining or her light or her aura energy is being pro pro um, pro projected from internally. So it's like the little her internally projecting outwardly for the world to see. All right. So what do you deem perfect today? Are you taking perfection, a.k.a. your self-confidence? Is it based on someone else's perfection of who you are, who you should be? Is that what you're doing today? Or are you seeing perfection, a.k.a. your self-confidence? Are you seeing that in your own eyes and are you projecting that outwardly to the world today based on your own perception of yourself? 
So today we're dealing with root chakra energy. This is what's grounding you, okay? Perfection. Are you seeing yourself based on your own truth, or are you seeing yourself based on somebody else's truth? And that's that's what we're gonna be talking, uh, taking a look at today, okay? So we're gonna start off with my fire signs because you do know it's Sagittarius season, right? So we're gonna start off with my fire signs. We're just gonna thank our angels. We're gonna thank our guides. We're gonna thank our ancestors. We're gonna thank our higher self. We're gonna thank the divine masculine and feminine energy. We're gonna thank all the energy in the atmosphere that is here to help guide, protect, encourage, motivate, and give us the strength to take action and courage when it is time. Okay. All right. What you got from my wonderful fire signs? What you want fire signs to know about their confidence today? And was grounded down with perfection. We want my wonderful, wonderful fire signs to know about their root chakra and what's grounding them in their confidence today. Okay. All right. You guys got the eclipse in Aquarius energy, which is all about an awakening, the deeper parts of you. Oh, wow. I love this. You got the sun in Aries, which is all about new beginnings. Okay. And then you got the eclipse in Capricorn, which is all about a new direction. Wow. I love this. Now, remember, we're focusing on self-confidence today, okay, guys? So, my wonderful fire signs, overall energy today for the fire signs is saying that there's something deep going on within you. Like, okay, for example, we just spent a lot of time talking about what's grounding you, your perception of yourself or your truth about yourself versus someone else's truth. For my wonderful fire signs, it's saying here that you're going into a deep resolve. Like, you're going within yourself and you're awakening your truth from within, okay? And as you do so, you will take a leap of faith on the new beginnings that's being set forward before you okay and as you take that leap forward you will see that you're heading in a new direction and you're re-evaluating what success means to you okay once again today we're dealing with confidence okay confidence has to come from within you i can tell you all day every day you're perfect you're beautiful you got this you got this you're going to be successful but if you don't believe in yourself this is not going to go anywhere okay it's not going to go anywhere Okay, what is your message for my wonderful Sagittarius, Leos, and Aries? Make it plain for Sagittarius, Leos, and Leos, and Aries. What do you got for them today? Okay, my wonderful Sagittarius, you got the stargazer, and it is asking you to set your sights on a higher, okay? That means you need to get out of the world and get into your spirit. Okay, you cannot judge things by what you see in this time that we're in. You need to judge things based on what you can feel. You need to tap into your emotions, set your sights higher. Okay, um, this is landing on the eclipse in um, Aquarius. Aquarius energy is that knowing energy. There's a knowing that you can't explain or put into words. You just know. Okay, so Sagittarius, you're landing on this awakening energy, and it's just asking you to set your sights higher. Okay, my wonderful Leos, you're landing on the new beginning and air. Reason is saying take note of the intuitive messages that's coming in today. Okay, remember intuition is all day, every day. Whether or not you choose to tap into it is your decision. Okay. All right, my wonderful, wonderful Aries, you got the fire guardian. Oh, how nice is it to have a fire guardian in your fire sign? And you got the fire guardian popping up on this eclipse and Capricorn energy for you. And it is just saying, basically, you need to ignite your passions from within, right? This is new beginnings popping up here, my wonderful Aries. Your new beginnings need to be fueled with passion, okay? Not anybody else's perceptions about you, my love. Your own perceptions about yourself today, guys, okay? What's grounding you today should be your own confidence and your own wonderful perceptions about yourself. So if you don't have confidence in yourself, my love, that is definitely something for you to work on because everybody else can believe in you, but if you're not believing in yourself, all of that shit is going to fall to the wayside, okay? All right, we are moving on to my wonderful earth signs today. What do you have for my wonderful earth signs? What do you have for my wonderful earth signs? What do you have for my wonderful earth signs? What message do you have for my wonderful earth signs as we were dealing with self-confidence today and root chakra card of perfection? What do you want them to know about their self-confidence and perfection today? What do you want my wonderful earth signs to know today? Okay, my wonderful earth signs. You got the moon in Pisces, which is all about dealing with your emotions and following your dreams. Ooh, you got the sun in Aries, new beginnings. Oh, I love it. So as you begin to follow your dreams, honey, take that leap of faith. New beginnings is on the way. And then you got the eclipse in Gemini, which is all about you being able to negotiate as you walk in this new path. Okay, so my wonderful earth signs. Your message for today is to be able to follow your dreams. Once again, 
Remember, this perfection card is saying that you need to shine from inwardly outwardly, not vice versa. You can't look at the outer world to, to create your, 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 your reality, okay? Because if you're looking at the outer world to create your reality, you're going to be disappointed a lot. You're going to be discouraged a lot, okay? So it's overall asking you to pay attention to your dreams. And because the moon is in Pisces, this is all about emotional energy. So you'll uh, allow yourself to explore your, your emotions, your intuitive nature, okay? Then... And then moves into this energy with the sun in Aries. This Aries energy is that I am energy. And you know, when you're manifesting, whatever you put after I am, that is what it is. So if you put, I am going to be successful, then success is yours. I am not going to be successful. Remember, I am not going to be successful. That also means success won't be yours. So be mindful of whatever you're using this Aries energy to, to focus on. Aries their energetic pattern is I am. So what it's saying here now is I am having a new beginning. So there's new beginnings for you. You need to take a leap of faith. And I'm not talking about faith as in F-A-I-T-H. Not that type of faith. Not that type of faith. I'm talking about F-A-T-E. Google it. Research it. You'll see the difference. Okay? My wonderful, wonderful earth signs. Right. Take that leap of faith that you need because there's new beginnings coming. And as you step into your new beginnings, you've got the eclipse in Gemini. Gemini is all about your thinking. Right? You got to think before you move. And as, you, as you're stepping into the eclipse and Gemini energy and you're thinking, be open to negotiate, right? Be open to be able to rise to the challenges that, set, that are set before you in the new path because success is yours to have, all right? You just got to see it like that. Okay, my wonderful Capricorns, my Virgos, and my Taurus. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna get clarification for the earth signs. What you got for my Capricorns, my Virgos, and my Taurus? What is your wisdom for Capricorns, Virgos, and Taurus today? What is your wisdom for Capricorns, Virgos, and Taurus today? All right, my wonderful Capricorns, you are paired up with the Traveler, moving a new direction. The new beginners go. You're paired up with the, tra the Traveler, moving a new direction, which is clarified by the moon in Pisces, which is all about you being able to follow your dreams, okay? Capricorns, it's time for you to move in a new direction, okay? Some of you are supposed to be entrepreneurs, because y'all know where the money's at, right? Just saying. All right, my wonderful Virgos, you appeared with the sun in Aries, new beginnings. And it is asking you with this moon energy, you need to take note of the intuitive messages that's coming in. I think um, one of the fire signs just got that too, all right? So as you're taking this leap of faith today, my wonderful Virgos, um, with this new beginnings, just pay attention to the intuitive messages that's coming in to help you, okay? Now, my wonderful Taurus, you guys have paired with the Eclipse and Geminis, being able to negotiate and just rise to the challenges with this new path that you're on. They're asking you to tap into the great teacher's energy, and the great teacher energy is just about learning from your spiritual experiences. This is why I'm telling you right now, the way you're manifesting in this third dimensional realm, in this day and age that we're in, it's done from internally. So if you're not checking your emotions, if you're not checking your throat chakra, if you're not working with your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye, um, and balancing your chakra chakra and your solar plexus and your root chakra, if you're not working with your chakras, if you're not working with your inner man, if you're not working with your inner being, you're going to run into a lot of problems because energetically, this is time for us to rise and vibrate um, to our true selves and connect with our true selves. And the only way that you can do that, my love, is to first be honest with yourself about what you want, what you need, where you're going, where you're not going, where you want to be. There has to be some internal dialogue with self, okay? And um, Taurus, this is all about you being able to learn from the experiences, okay? Don't think you got everybody figured out. People change, Taurus. Okay? All right. Let's move on into my water signs. Let's see what you got for my wonderful water signs today. We are vibrating under number eight. And we are dealing with self-confidence today. Okay? Self-confidence and perfection today with the root chakra energy. Now, your root chakra energy is where all your fear and shit lies, y'all. Okay? So all your fears, all your anxieties and shit lie in your root chakra, okay? So you need to pay attention to that. All right, water signs. You got the moon in Scorpio, which is all about transformation today. You got the eclipse in Pisces energy also. And you got the sun in Aries, which is all about new beginnings, okay? So let's wrap up what the message is from a water sign. So water signs today with the moon in Scorpio is all about transformation. This is about, about you being able to make changes in your emotional life, okay? Or a change is coming in your emotional life, which is a good thing because remember... How do you manifest in this third dimensional realm? It's through your feelings, through your emotions, right? So, 
if you can bring balance and change into your emotions, you can manifest differently. So pay attention to that, okay? All right. And then as that change comes in with the transformation energy with the moon in Scorpio, you then have the eclipse energy um, in Pisces, which is about the free will or your free will, a.k.a. your spirit, your soul connection, right? And this is about you um, serving your higher purpose, serving your call, and not being so caught up in the day-to-day -day mundane shit, right? And as you continue to make the changes that you need to make emotionally and serve your higher purpose, you will be stepping into a new beginning where faith is concerned, okay? Because you will be able to take that leap of faith. And I'm going to tell you once again, I'm talking about that F-A-T-E type faith, not the F-A-I-T-H type faith. Look it up. Google it. Two different type faiths, okay? All right. So what do you have for my water signs? Make it plain for my Cancers, my Pisces, and my Scorpio. Make it plain for my Cancers, my Pisces, and my Scorpio. Make it plain for my Cancers, my Pisces, and my Scorpio. What is their message? What is their message? All right, my wonderful Cancers, you have paired with Moon in Scorpio, which is all about transformation. You have the Shaman card popping up. When this card pops up, this is all about trusting in the higher forces, okay? Trusting in the um, your, your ancestors in the spiritual realm that you know is guiding you, okay? My wonderful Pisces, you guys have, um, ooh, you got the Eclipse in Pisces, which is all about serving your highest purpose, right? And then you have the star ancestor popping up here. And the star ancestor um, is saying, follow that soul voice. Follow the voice of your soul. Okay, Pisces? Follow the voice of your soul. All right, my wonderful Scorpios. Paired with the sun in Aries, which is all about new beginning, right? You do have the night card. And the night card is saying, be brave and be honest as you step into this new um, beginning. There's no need for you to take old shit that didn't work for you into this new beginning, okay? Deal with your fears. Deal with your insecurities. Be brave. Be honest about what you want and where you're going. And watch what unfolds for you, my wonderful, wonderful Scorpio, okay? All right, water signs. You guys have your message. Self-confidence is going to be key. And trusting your intuition for my water signs is going to be key, okay? All right, ear signs. Let's see what we got for my wonderful ear signs as we're vibrating under number eight today. And it is all about confidence, right? And we are dealing with root chakra work today, which is what's surrounding us. This is where fears and anxieties lie, okay? So let's pay attention today. What do you have for my wonderful ear signs? Ear signs. What do you got for the ear signs? What do you have for ear signs? What do you have for ear signs today? Air signs, you're starting out with the eclipse in Virgo, which is all about reorganization today. Oh, shit. Pisces is showing up a lot today, Hunter. You got the eclipse in Pisces. This is all about your free will. And then you got the sun in Aries again, y'all. The sun in Aries again, which is all about new beginnings. I'm going to reshuffle. Let me reshuffle. Kelly be laughing at me when I do this because she's like, they trying to give you a message. And yeah, we going to reshuffle. I always say if they want you to know something, they gonna it's going to pop out again, okay? Whatever they want you to know, it's going to pop out again. So let's see which one of these pops out again. What you to want my wonderful ear signs to know, make it plain, make it clear. What you want my wonderful ear signs to know, make it plain and make it clear, hunty, okay? All right, you got the sun and Aquarius energy popping up, which is all about opportunity, you got the sun in Virgo popping up. This is all about your endeavors. And you got the moon in Cancer popping up today. Okay, so we got air energy, we got earth energy, and we got water energy on the board. All right, let's jump into this, my wonderful air sign. So with the sun in Aquarius, this is all about opportunities. This is all about you being ready for the change that's coming in. Okay, or not, but it's saying change is coming in, so you should get ready for it if you're not ready, okay? Now, we are dealing with self-confidence today, and we're also dealing with the root chakra, right, which is all about how do you see yourself in perfection? Are you looking at perfection in somebody else's eyes, or are you looking at perfection through your own eyes about yourself, right? So, with the sun in Aquarius, be open for the opportunities that's coming in. Aquarius's energetic pattern is all about I know, right? And this is why they can be really stubborn because they step in that I know everything. And it's sometimes when you think you know everything, you don't leave yourself open to learn new things. But just be open for the opportunities that's coming in because there are opportunities that's coming in, my wonderful air signs. You also have that followed by the sun in Virgo energy, which is all about your endeavors. And now the thing about this sun in Virgo energy, right, and it's also the number six card, 
okay, which is all about balance and harmony. And the Aquarius card is number 11 card for those of you that's been seeing the, the sequence of 11, right? Um, but with the sun and Virgo energy, one of the things that you do have to be mindful of is with Virgos, they're very analytical, right? So when you're very analytical, you kind of have things mapped out, okay? And when you're running analytics, you're watching as a, you're watching, um, I want to say how things flow. You're watching when somebody's analytical, they're, they're it's like they're, Collecting the data, right? They're collecting the data, right? So if you're using your analytical, the analytical, the analytical part of yourself today, my wonderful ear signs, you need to pay attention to what you reap um, is what you sow. So when you're collecting analytical data, it's really about the data of people, what people put out, right? So if you put, that's how this works. What you reap is what you sow. So pay attention to your endeavors and the energy and the strength and attention that you want to give to something because that's the same force in which you're going to be gaining it back, okay? And as you're paying attention to your endeavors and really putting out the, what you want into the atmosphere with this moon and cancer energy, this is going to be like a sense of belonging for you. Some of y'all will be intro, um, going within and introspectively looking at yourself, right? This is going to be a very sensitive time for you guys as you really search for the things that brings you a sense of belonging and this could be in your career field this could be in the home field this could even be in relationships you may be making some adjustments um to the areas that's going to bring you more self-confidence in self okay all right my wonderful air signs let's see what do you have for gemini aquarius and libras what do you have for gemini aquarius and libras give us the wisdom for gemini aquarius and libras give us the wisdom for gemini aquarius and libras gemini aquarius and libras give us the wisdom for Gemini's, Aquarius, and Libras, give us a wisdom. Oh, we've got a card that fell. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, my wonderful Gemini, you are landing on the sun in Aquarius, which is all about opportunity. And you have the guardian angel popping up. And with that message, they're saying, you are not alone, honey. This is, there's opportunities all around you and you are not alone, okay? You are ready for that change and you just need to walk through the doors as they up, they open for you. And can I tell you something? Opportunity does not come once in a lifetime. Opportunity is available to you all day, every day. You just need to be able, able to open your eyes and see them. Okay, my wonderful Geminis. Okay. My wonderful Aquarius, you have the sun in Virgo, which is all about you reap what you sow, and your message is clarified by the animal guardian, which she's saying, trust your instincts, okay? Trust your instincts, right? Don't operate in tit for tat, is what I'm hearing, my wonderful Aquarius. Don't do tit for tat today. Don't do that today, okay? Just pay attention to your intuition as well as work from a place of being confident within yourself. You don't have to... If someone has done some fuckery, you don't have to respond with fuckery, okay? All right, my wonderful Libras. Your clarification and your message is landing on the moon in Cancer today, which is all about a sense of belonging and is clarified by the um the, the high priest energy, which is all about intend um and create. This is all about set, setting your intention and then creating from there, right? Going within yourself, setting your intention within yourself and creating from there. Remember today we're focused on self-confidence and um, root chakra work is what's popping up today, right? Perfection. Are, are you perfect in somebody else's eyes and not your own? Are you waiting for someone to tell you that you're perfect, you're enough, you're the best, you're the bomb, and you don't feel that way about yourself? Okay, because sometimes if you're waiting for that to happen, you may be waiting a long time, right? Because can I tell you something? Um, not everyone in life appreciates love. Uh, it's, they don't appreciate love. And in life, not everyone congratulates. So if you're holding on to people to appreciate your love and appreciate you or, uh, or to congratulate you, um, and that's the only thing that's going to fill you uh, from a place of self-confidence, we need to reevaluate that. We need to reevaluate that. We need to reevaluate that because you're not ever going to feel whole and complete if you are looking outside of yourself for that. You first have to feel whole and complete within. You first have to get to a place where you're doing the internal work that you need to do to feel happy about yourself, accepting yourself for who you are, all right? Laughing at yourself, okay? Forgiving yourself for dealing with some of the fuckery, for doing some of the things that you've done, for overreacting, whatever it is, okay? You need to get with self and really start to love on self. How about that, okay? 
All right, my wonderful signs. I appreciate each and every one of you today. Remember, today we're vibrating on the number eight, which is all about new beginnings, okay? Intuitive energy is always in the atmosphere, um, as well as um, self-confidence is what we're going to be focusing on today. Remember, self-discipline is also in the atmosphere today, so you can feel when you're starting to bubble up and get mad before you explode and react. Just, you know, center yourself today. Uh, we do have the ego, a.k.a. the gargamels, the hazels, the vampires, and the narcissists out today. So you want to make be mindful about that. And you may catch yourself operating in some of this energy. Just remember, you get to change states at any time. You can't be happy and sad at the same time. You can choose and you can flip states, okay? Now... Um, it is okay if you need to find a life coach or if you need to find a counselor or, you know, a spiritual guide, you know, so you can talk things through. That is okay. What is not okay is for you to become codependent on someone to fill you. That is not okay. Okay. So a spiritual guide, a life coach, or even a therapist can lead you back to self for you to analyze and self-assist self and embrace self and to forgive self and to, you know, um, to do what you need to do for self. However, they can't do that work for you. This is still work that you will have to do with self, right? All right. On that note, my loves, I want you guys to remember that I do go live on Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I jump into the queue and I answer questions, okay? Um, so you guys can come on and join us as well as I am running the holiday special. Guys, you can get your love or career readings for um, a donation of $50, a 30-minute intuitive coaching session with me uh, where we get into you, the cards, as well as you do not leave your readings without instructions in your next step. We don't do that, okay? I don't limit you in questions based on the reading. If you're doing a love reading or career reading, you get to ask as much questions as you want within that half an hour, okay? Because I may tell you something I hear intuitively may, may lead you into to another question so you get the full half hour to talk about whatever your needs are whether it be pertaining to love or pertaining to career you guys can find that information in the description box below so that's discounted for um a donation of fifty dollars you can also win a contest so check that out um for a free reading um slash coaching session with me um and whoever wins the next reading and coaching session you would also get a um a sample of my shea butter body bomb so super excited about that check out my podcast i will have uploaded um new episodes at least by tonight there's a new episode that will be um uploaded um by tonight so you can check that out um and don't forget the dailies are up at 12 15 eastern a.m um every day and if you see that i have not posted it by 12 15 eastern it will sh more than likely be up by 9 a.m eastern standard time only reason you will not see that 12.15 Eastern if I got caught up and was not able to record. But even if I do and it's not posted by 12.15, you will see it by the following, um, by later that day. Okay? All right, my loves. I love you much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope to see you on live on Fridays. Make sure you drop comments and leave messages. I appreciate them. I may not get to respond to each and every one of them, but I do get um, a chance to read them or at least like them. You know, I do scroll through them. I may not be able to respond, but I do read um, all of the comments. Okay. I think that is it, my loves. I will see you in tomorrow's daily. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload a bonus Capricorn. I do have a bonus Capricorn and a bonus Pisces video that I am going to be doing because those were the top videos this week. Um, so, pay attention. You should see your bonus coming out um, in the next couple of days, my wonderful Capricorns. Um, definitely maybe before Monday. Um, and Pisces, you will also see a bonus coming up before Monday, too. Super excited about that. All right, my loves. Love you guys much, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.